If you've been involved in rocketry long enough, then you've probably seen one of these. Yeah, the dreaded zipper. Oh, that, that's a bad one there. You may remember a couple episodes back where this rocket was all nice and shiny, and now we have this. All right, well, for today, I want to talk about the root causes of a zipper, a few ideas that may help prevent the zipper, and how to repair them. Stay tuned. Let's talk for a minute about what causes the zipper in the first place. The typical answers are usually an early deployment or a late deployment. Now that may come from choosing the wrong motor out of your, uh, out of your range box. It has the wrong delay in it. Or there could be a problem with the delay grain itself, like this is what occurred to my Excel. It either did not seal properly in a forward bulkhead or it just burned through or some other issue with that. I'm not really sure, but uh, those are typical causes. Also, there's uh, a few other ones, such as if the nose cone is not sealed on the airframe properly, it can separate while a rocket is uh, not accelerating when it's decelerating, and it can separate from the airframe, and that can cause a zipper as well. And there's another cause too, it, this occurs, I've seen it numerous times with old redline motors uh, that don't light properly and they sputter on the rail and finally they ignite. Well, when they finally ignite, the delay grain may have already been burning from the first sputter and that can cause a premature uh, delay as well that uh, may push all the laundry out while it's under power. And uh, if the rocket's under power, there's not a whole lot you can do. Something's going to get damaged from it. But I want to take a look at a few things that can help to prevent having a zipper. I have several examples of shock cord here. This is a Kevlar cord. This is nylon flat strap and it's tubular nylon. This also is a piece of Kevlar here. Now on the smaller pieces, they're, they're very strong, but the problem is, is this is a zipper waiting to happen right here. Now there are a couple things you can do. For instance, you could put, uh, run it through this piece of tubing here and uh, use a couple of zip ties to attach it. Now this tubing only has to go right here where the uh, airframe is. It doesn't have to go all the way down, just enough to protect the edge of it right there. So you, that's one solution. You could also come up with something maybe using a piece of foam, but the problem with this is it's not very heat resistant. It would have to have Kevlar over it or something like that. Uh, there are a couple of commercial solutions that work well and I'll leave a link in the descriptions to tell you about them. I use this uh, tubular nylon on the Excel rocket and uh, I like this. It holds up the heat fairly well, not as well as the Kevlar, but the flat strap is wider and it has less of a tendency to tear the airframe or saw through it. So I like the wider part of of this tubular nylon. Now this Kevlar piece is extremely strong and you can see that I have taped it together here. Now the tape will absorb some energy as it tears it apart and don't worry it will have plenty of energy to tear it apart and also it keeps your um, cord from tangling and keeps it nice and neat down in the airframe. So I tape a bunch of these sections together when I put them together to keep things nice and neat and to absorb some of the shock. Now, as far as the length of your shot cord, you really can't have it too long. I use the longest uh, possible that I can fit in the airframe and still allow room for the parachute. That is within reason. Like the three inch models, I might have 15 feet of shot cord to 20 or so. Uh, I could even go longer than that if the rocket is longer and there's room for it. The more uh, shot cord you have available, the more energy it absorbs uh, when, when the ejection charge goes off and the more time it allows for the pieces uh, to slow down. So it's, there's always an advantage to using as much as you possibly can. So there you go. There's a couple of ideas right there. You may be able to come up with more. Uh, if you do, leave them in the descriptions. I really like to hear from my subscribers. So let me know what you have done. I put a piece of blue tape on the airframe as a guide and cut off the uh, body tube there. I took out the old shot cord and you can see I've used this, uh, I think I can show you here, 
I've used this pipe cleaner uh, to thread down into the eye bolt that's in there. Then I'll attach the new shot cord and go ahead and pull that through and tie a knot in it. Now the, um, the old shot cord was not long enough. It was pretty frayed. So I decided to go ahead and replace the whole thing. If it had been longer, I could have probably tied another piece onto it or put a quick link or something. But uh, that's what I had to work with. And when I assembled the rocket, uh, I always felt that the... Uh, that the rail button here was not quite high enough that it should have been maybe up here a little bit So I'm going to go ahead and and fix that while I'm at it Hey, it's a great opportunity to make a few improvements while you can Okay, next I, I've cleaned up the inside as best I can and I'm going to put the coupler in it and start reassembling the rocket I have the coupler glued on here and this particular coupler is a lock stiffy tube it's a few dollars more but it's a lot heavier uh, i figured since it was especially close to the bottom of the booster here where it's going to be near the center of pressure that uh, i would use a stiffy tube uh, i think it's worth it well uh, one quick tip when you put the glue on this put glue on both surfaces and then push it together all in one motion because it tends to really grab or stick and you could get stuck <laughs> where you don't want it to so it's Helps to put a mark on it, shove it down to that mark, and then you'll be good to go. I have the rocket assembled and completed. I have moved the rail button forward from to this position from about right here. So I, I feel better about that. I like that. Uh, it's looking pretty good. I added about an inch and a half here to the front of the airframe to the beginning of it because rockets tend to get shorter over time, not longer. So, and then that way, if I ever have another problem, I have room to trim a little bit of this off. One other thing I did too was I took super glue, let me take this off here, and uh, I just put a little bit on the end of the airframe here that kind of stiffens the uh, airframe up a little bit, and every little bit helps. So, yeah, I went ahead and did that. Uh, as far as the shot cord goes, I've put this uh, big fat shot cord on there and a quick link and I'm going to reuse the old one too I'm just going to attach it to this one more thought before I go should I order the original sticker that came on this that said Excel from binder design or should I rename it to something else I was thinking something along the lines of zipper zipper express zipper recovery I don't know or maybe even something else so you as my viewers Write in the description what you think I should do. Should I keep the same name? Should I change it to something else? And if so, what do you think? You write it in the comments and I'll get back to you and let you know what I did. Thanks.